All right, so in the last example, we saw that the, the second one that I did, we, we ran into a little bit of trouble trying to set up the right comparison um, so that we could apply the direct comparison test. Now, that's partly because I copied down the question wrong. It's not quite the one that was done in the textbook. I had the wrong power of x, but hey, we got the job done. Um, we were able to show that it converges. We set up a comparison test. All's well and good. Now, we come to something like this, and, and we see that you know, things are a little bit complicated here. And we, we, the intuition is you know, we, if x is really big, this sort of lower order stuff is not that important. And so we're kind of dealing with, well, 1 over the square root of x squared, which is really 1 over x, right, because x is positive. Um, so we want to compare with 1 over x. And actually, we know that 1 over x diverges, right? Um, so we, we kind of, we know that this integral should diverge because it's kind of like 1 over x and the integral for 1 over x diverges. But setting up the inequalities that we need to do direct comparison, it, it can be a bit of a pain. So one way to work around this is using what's called the limit comparison test. So you know what function you want to compare to, you're just not quite sure how to set up the inequalities. Well, you do this instead, right? So we want to compare, so we have our f of x is going to be 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 5, and we want to compare to g of x which is 1 over x, okay? So when we do the limit, x going to infinity, f of x over g of x. So dividing by g of x is like, dividing by 1 over x is like multiplying by x, right? So we get x oh, limit, x going to infinity, x over the square root, x squared plus 2x plus 5. Um, so let's rewrite this as the, the limit, x going to infinity, x over, so on the bottom, factor out an x squared, right? This is 1 plus 2 over x plus 5 over x squared. And because x is bigger than 0, right, I can split that up as the square root of x squared times the square root of all the rest. And square root of x squared is equal to x when x is positive. So I can cancel those. Um, and then I just have 1 on top. And of course, that's going to go to 0. That's going to go to 0. So I get 1 over 1. I get a limit of 1, right? So I mean exactly this scenario. I can take the limit of f over g. I get a limit of 1. 1 is certainly between 0 and infinity. And now I can say that since the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over x diverges. Um, the same is true for the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 5, right? Um, so limit comparison is, is really handy because you don't have to fiddle around with setting up inequalities. Um, you just take the limit of the ratio and you see what you get, right? Sometimes this is a lot easier. Other times it's easy to see the inequality right away and so you just go with it. Um, but if you can't spot an inequality, you always have limit comparison as a backup, right? Now, it is important to kind of understand convergence divergence of improper integrals. Um, it's a useful skill to have. Uh, the real reason that we're working on this now is later on you're going to get to sequences in series and you're going to use a lot of the same skills that you're developing here um, to understand convergence and divergence for uh, infinite series, right? That's what's coming up down the road.